Hi there, Lloyd Macedo. Speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com, who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding. Okay. Well, the last couple of days, I've been getting many people sending me this uh, uh, update from Khalid Times. Let me just uh, get it. Um, apparently, it's like um, you have this article from Gulf News, no, sorry, Khalid Times, that has been stating uh, that if you have fake degrees, or, um, you know, even national newspapers reported this. If you have fake degrees, um, uh, yeah, the date is 18th February 2021. If you have fake degrees, you can um, be jailed and uh, you'll have a fine of up to half a million. Okay. And ever since that uh, update came out, I mean, uh, quite a number of people have been very afraid. People have been sending me messages and I mean, it's been quite a lot. Okay, now I'll answer this. Now, I don't want you to take what I say as a legal um, verdict, okay? I will give you my opinion based on my personal experience of being in UAE for 40 years. And uh, I challenge anyone, anybody who is there, um, on what I state, you can you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm very open. I don't delete any comments. Um, and uh, you can give me your opinion. Okay. So now, as per this article in, um, uh, let's let's take a national paper, which says, prison sentence and fine of up to half a million for using fake degrees to get jobs, UAE jobs. Okay. Now, I find this uh, article in itself very funny. Okay. New draft also covers recruiters and employees who knowingly accept fake certificates. Okay. Now, my open challenge, my open challenge to UAE, open challenge to UAE, UAE government and uh, whomsoever represents UAE. Okay. My open challenge. And this is my open challenge. Is prostitution allowed in UAE? Here I'm asking you, is prostitution allowed in UAE? Is gambling allowed in UAE? Is it allowed? Is human rights abuse allowed in UAE? Now, UAE is a country that is Islamic. So is prostitution allowed in Islam? The answer is no. Is gambling allowed in Islam? The answer is no. Is alcohol allowed in Islam? The answer is no. Okay. But UAE says we are an Islamic country, right? We follow Islam. Okay, so now here is me asking, if prostitution is not allowed in Islam and prostitution is not allowed in UAE, then how is it that there are prostitutes in UAE? Dera, Bar Dubai, Jumeirah, you go to these places, you know, these massage cards, which are there, massage cards, just uh, search, just go park your car. How many massage cards are there? Is that legal? You know what, you know what massage I'm talking about? I'm not talking about massage. You know what massage I'm talking about? Now about prostitution, go in the night after say 12 o'clock, go to a nightclub. From where, why do people joke 100 only? From where do these European, Eastern European women, uh, Arabic women, maybe some from the East, from where do they come and, okay, find it one shot. From where does it come? See, let's stop acting dumb. Okay, let's stop acting dumb. Let's stop acting like, oh, Islamic country. Oh. Man, you and me and everybody is aware that this is just namesake bullshit. See, for me, I've been in UAE 40 years, 40 years of my life. Okay. I've literally seen UAE grow. And I, 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 I have seen where they follow the law and where they don't follow the law. Now, my open challenge, the second one, I gave, this is not second and third hand information. I went to the CID. I went to the police. I went to Dubai police, Sarja police, Ajman police. I went to the CID. I presented them with evidence, evidence of fake degree certificates, which have been supplied from India. 
my ex employer who is still in uae who still runs a company who was covered by gulf news you know that uh, reporter of gulf news he covered this with evidence i presented to them with evidence i gave them the template of the certificate i gave them photocopies i gave them the excel sheet i gave them receipts i gave them every single fucking thing to the uae government to the uae uh, cid to the police to everybody you know what was their response you know what the fuck was their response they took okay we'll get back to we met and i'm telling you this this is not a cock and bull story i met the cid in um, ajman city center ajman city center at the coffee shop i don't know if that place is there this is ages ago i gave them the hard disk i gave them printed evidence against my employer and they said we'll get back to you and they sat and they discussed and they said they'll get back to me by next week the next week when i came and met them this is what they told me this is exactly what he told me not word for word but this is what he told me ya khi you know how they say ya khi if your government if your government that is the indian if they don't have a problem ya khi why we make problem they don't mind they give certificate they stamp we don't have problem so you mind your own business this is exactly what he told me and i stood there like a dumb fuck i was like what the fuck see the the problem is ue you know ue not just ue all these countries name sake they'll put out all fuck all on the newspaper oh you know if uh, human trafficking is not allowed drugs not allowed alcohol yes it's true these are illegal items drugs alcohol prostitution uh, having sex outside marriage uh, drinking alcohol all that is it's true there are rules for all this but every fucking person is breaking the law and you know i myself went to the police who was one of my friends i asked him how come there are prostitutes i asked him casually because he was my friend he said yeah ki if nobody complains then you know why should we bother see why are they coming out with this why are they coming out to discourage people doing it openly they are coming out with this the so called bullshit uh, news to discourage people doing it openly but i can challenge you they cannot check each and every certificate each and every employee each and every employer the whole fucking country will collapse do you know on linkedin linkedin this had happened a local guy was busy exposing every employee of alfutem majid alfutem all the multinational companies of people who had taken fake degrees from universities that didn't exist i went with the employer ex employer of my company who's still in uae i don't want to take his name people who know me know who's that guy his company is still there he still issues certificates he still here's my open challenge to the uae government my ex employer is still in uae printing fake degree certificates getting it attested from your in, uh, from your offices is getting attested from the uae whatever the uh attestation services he's getting attested from the indian uh, you know consulate or wherever i it has been so long they these pieces of paper are getting stamped as authentic by ue and by the indian uh, who the fuck is doing what in fact let me ask you a very simple question india has so many fake degree certificates so many why do you think uk doesn't uh, recognize uh, doctors and nurses why do you think uh, canada why do they make them go through stringent policies because the number of fake degree certificate in fact even today even right now i get messages from people in india from people in pakistan from people in uae hey bro can you give me the number where i can get a fake degree certificate there's such a fucking high demand for even a thousand dollars people are getting fake degree certificates i myself uh, did this youtube video on coffee zilla you can check coffee zilla loy mesido fake degree cert- i have evidence i have fucking evidence with the receipt of the company the uae government has done jack shit jack shit i gave them evidence they did jack shit my open challenge you go and arrest that guy close down that fucking business which you are not doing then why the fuck you are putting all this what is all this? this is a fucking drama this is just namesake how many emiratis are you prepared to arrest for fake degrees how many um, expats 
are you prepared to check each and uh, there are 9 million for example a population 9 million will you check each and every one's uh, fake degree how many people are getting promotions because if they don't have a degree they don't get a promotion if they don't have a degree they can't apply for a fucking job how many people will you verify and do you know how long does it take to fucking verify see i started my video by openly telling you prostitution is not allowed you know i know there are prostitutes in ue you know i know there are prostitutes okay prove me wrong i'm telling you prove me wrong there are massage parlors which are illegally work use a vpn and check uh, what is that uh, massage uh, call girls escort girls all this goes on in ue call girls escort girls sex services just use a vpn you will get all of them nude nude naked for with their itta sala then do phone number their fucking phone number is put there their location they say i give blow jobs you can give me anal we can have two some three some it it's there i don't want to show because their photographs their name they are do and itta sala number is there and if you send them a message they will respond to you so if prostitution is not allowed as per islam as per ue it is not allowed then what the fuck are you doing about it you can't do jack shit about it okay that you don't do you're going to talk about degrees who the fuck are you fooling man see this is a stupidity when you put bullshit like this oh prison sentence half a million you have more fucking serious problems that you're not sorting out and you are going to focus on fake degrees come on man who the fuck are you fooling this is nothing but jazz fucking bullshit let's see what you do about prostitution we'll see you let's see what you do about money laundering how many criminals how many gangsters how many illegal you know people bringing their black money what are you doing about it and this is not me pulling from my ass or from my pocket united states europe from where did they blacklist what happened to br shetty from how did he fucking fool the entire world how where did he operate from ue right see all these mafia members and criminals who are getting caught in ue why ue has the latest ue has the latest technology just google search pegasus software they have the latest you think they don't know when a fucking criminal is coming in you think they can't spot people ue is as good as any other modern country but when you start acting fucking dumb and when you start acting like, oh no 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 we are islam allah oh we are no sm- smoking haram drinking haram yeah the minute an emirati flies out of uae removes his uh, kandura removes his that holy thing and puts on a shirt and trouser and become yo i'm amal uh, babes let's have two some three some la you know. come on man where is islam that time where is arab where is uae it's like yeah don't let the right hand know what the left hand is doing how many of or the so called decent chaps when they go abroad they suddenly show their real colors this happens not only way it happens everywhere i agree in fact we have uh, all the we have all the scandals which are being talked in other newspapers other than ue okay we know what is happening today in the day of social media in the day of news which flies we know in gulf news khalis stands a national paper only a clean image will be there and by the way gulf news is another piece of shit they're saying digital content pay who the fuck is going to pay what 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 are you coming out with something that is so revolutionary new better than that reuters is for free can you compete with fucking reuters who the fuck wants to pay for gulf news man what fucking shit they are fucking stupid idiots are running this country that is the problem and this 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 toilet shit news what who you going to fucking find who how many people are going to catch catch and show na what you'll catch one you'll catch two you'll catch 10 as it is getting talented people in uae is hard enough then you want people to work like a donkey then you do all this shit where salaries are not paid where you jail people if they don't pay their credit card and loans you have enough and more of a pr fucking disaster that is happening and now even bbc world is smashing uae's image with this uh, princess latifa scandal which is just decimating sheikh mohammed's personal life publicly 
You have all this shit that is happening. You have to worry about US, Joe Biden. Trump was there. UAE and uh, USA were good friends. Biden's is there. UAE suddenly became quiet. Oh, Qatar is our brother. Oh, Saudi embraced uh, Qatar. UAE had no choice. You have all this fucking shit to worry about and then you come out with this nonsense. Who are you trying to fool? I gave. I gave you the evidence. I gave you the evidence with the Excel sheet, with the names, with the employer, with the fake degree certificate template. You did jack shit. And then you're saying new draft. Put the new draft up your ass. That's all I can tell you. Because you're not going to do jack shit. I openly challenge you show what you'll do with the prostitutes. You show what you'll do. Okay, in Islam, alcohol is not allowed, right? Then UAE allows alcohol, right? Then you can't say UAE is a Muslim country. You can't say UAE is an Islamic country. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. UAE is not an Islamic country. Prostitution is there. Use a VPN. Check. Prove me wrong. Take a VPN. Check. Yeah, UAE escort services. UAE sex, UAE call girls. From where these girls get to do it is all of them. From where do they get the guts to put their number, put their boobs, their vagina, to show themselves naked? From where? Prove me wrong, no? Prove me wrong. Open challenge. See, the problem is, you know, when, uh, when you try to, it's like you're faking an orgasm. You're trying to fake and show, oh, we are very good people. Oh, we are. Shut the fuck up, man. This news. Is nothing but shit. But here, don't take me out of context. I am not encouraging you to take a fake degree. I am not encouraging you to break the laws. I am not encouraging you to uh, bypass the system. Remember, if somebody complains, you'll get fucked. You don't know when your bad day will come. I complained, nothing happened. That doesn't mean if someone, someone complains about you, you'll not get jacked. If they make this into a law, let's assume they make this into a law, and then somebody actually takes you to court, or they make it legal, then maybe you'll be in deep trouble because the law is fresh. But at the same time, there are so many people, so many. How I know this so many? Because the companies are still there. These guys are making 1 million. 1 million, they are making revenues per month. They are giving degrees, MBAs, PhDs. They are certifying doctors. They are even helping them migrate to Canada, Australia with these. But I can assure you one thing. Maybe you can do it in Dubai. But once you migrate somewhere, you, if, if you get caught, you are fucked. Your life is destroyed. I discourage anybody from taking these certificates. I discourage them. Why? You, it's it's not if you'll get, it's a matter of time. And the day you get caught, in today's social media world, it's a matter of being exposed. And the day you're exposed by somebody who doesn't like you, or by someone, like I told you, it happened on LinkedIn, your life is finished. So I totally am against fake degrees. I'm totally against the certificate, irrespective of, of what your need is. Oh, I want to travel. I want to migrate. I want to, because the risks are too great. This, I'm not, I'm not against UAE coming out with this law. I'm not against them trying to sort of, but we know it's fucking bullshit. It doesn't mean jack shit. Your human record, human rights record is fucked up. Prostitution is there. You can't do jack shit. Alcohol is not allowed in Islam, but you do that. You can't help people get their salaries on time. You make rules which you only fucking break. You yourself don't follow your own fucking rules. You expect other people to follow. It's like these rules are, oh, it's not meant for me, it's meant for you. It's meant for anyone who is poor, helpless, or whom we, whose life we want to destroy. It makes you lose your credibility. So I challenge you, prove me wrong. I'm my open challenge to you. My open challenge. To anybody who says, oh, you're a hater, oh, prove me wrong on what I said. Prostitution, I told you, go with the VPN, check right now. UAE massage, UAE call girls, UAE escort services. Do an Salat numbers with their names, with their location and their services and their rates. It is there. Prostitution in nightclubs, it's there. Massage cards. So these three prove me wrong. Prove me wrong about Islam and about alcohol and about UAE saying that they follow Islam. And last but not the least, um, you know, this decency law, dress up well and all that. Okay. 
Uh, is everyone dressed up decent in UAE? Is everyone dressed up decent? Nightclubs and all that, everyone's dressed up decent? Okay. All this goes on until someone complains. So we know it all goes on. Okay. So here's my open challenge. I give you these questions. Prove me wrong. And one last thing, one last thing. Gulf News, Kalishans National. Do they actually print all the news or selected news? You know the answer. So I've given you open challenge. These are my questions. All those who support you and say, oh, I'm a hater and all, prove me wrong. My open challenge to you. That, that guy, my ex-employer, is still minting money. He's still issuing fake degree certificates. Nobody has touched him. So that shows UAE's law is bullshit. So the day he's arrested, the day his business is shut down, the day his assets are taken, oh, I say, oh, wow, he's doing something. Until then, as he busy greases everyone from uh, the big contacts in India and the big contacts in UAE, nobody touches him. This, this article is shit. Doesn't mean jack shit. And mind you, I've told you, I'm not encouraging you to take fake degrees. I'm cautioning you, do not. Because if you do get caught, it's a matter of if and when. When, if you do get caught, not forget if. When you do get caught, your life is destroyed. So if you want to take that gamble, then the risk is yours. I am against fake degrees. I am against doing all this illegal stuff. I'm telling you again, I'm against it. And that is why I went to the CID. That is why I went to the police. But nobody did jack shit. And when they did nothing, I realized, wasting my time. So this is what I have to say. This is my opinion. You let me know your thoughts and prove me wrong. I've given you the open challenge. Prove me wrong. I will not delete any comment. This is my open challenge to you. And this is what I have to say. Let me know your thoughts. Please follow the rules of every country, whether you like it or not. Follow the rules. Don't think that, oh, someone is breaking. I can also break. Then you'll have to pay the price. This is what I have to say. Let me know your thoughts. This is me signing off. You guys take care.